Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today I'm going to go over oil and natural gas, do our daily technical analysis update. Uh, oil was looking really strong, really strong. Hopefully this is the bottom. Uh, I would have, I was uh, sprinkling a little bit in. I do think oil is really good uh, for a short to medium to long-term bet. Uh, short term, I mean, there, I'll, I'll get into it. I'll jump into it. This is just my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. Um, but here we go. Uh, we've got this big old down day here. Uh, it's a lot of momentum here. And we got to work that momentum off. We had an up day and then kind of slamming down into here. We had a large up day today. Uh, and it would be considered a, a bullish engulfing pattern. Let's hope the momentum can continue to the upside. Um, and what we're playing with is, is a really big pattern uh, when looking at this. We broke to the upside. We came on back within the pattern on the uh, moronic anagram variant, the moronic variant. And now we're trying to break back above this resistance line on the really long-term big picture view. Uh, in my opinion, uh, governments did not want this to break to the upside. Uh, they released the news uh, of this variant uh, on Black Friday, a low trading day, and they slammed it. They slammed it harder than anything. Now, the underlying structural market underneath this needs oil to go higher. Uh, we have low inventories worldwide. We have a potential for a deficit next year, potentially late next year, middle next year. It, it depends on what happens. I don't know. I don't have the future here, but that's what I've read is that deficits could be uh, in the future here. And we need to break back above this resistance line and out of this pattern for a monster move because this is a monster pattern and monster patterns the size of this means that we are going into an inflationary environment it also means that we have a very large move ahead of us natural gas the weather is not helping natural gas it's getting sold off um i think i think i saw some of the the traders selling their uh, grandparents for for money trying to gain cash back <laughs> So it sold off. It it broke broke back into the pattern again. Um, I do think it will remain strong if the weather comes, but right now it's it's weak. It's not the spot to be. Uh, for SM Energy, a little wick at the bottom here. Uh, that's on a monthly basis. Let's go to a one year. Going on in. Uh, I think we're breaking out of this pattern. This little pattern we've got. Let's zoom way in on it. Zooming in, we've got the. The pattern here we broke to the upside it's running uh let's hope we can keep the momentum to the upside uh for sm it looked like a little weak at the end of the at the end of of today uh cdav's another one we had a little pattern here it broke to the upside it ran a little bit today uh, so that looks good i bought in here uh, in this pattern so that's good cpe Callan petroleum uh, it's got a nice big old pattern that it's breaking to the upside, and hopefully the momentum can continue on that. A nice good descending wedge pattern that we're breaking. So I, I would suspect that would move on up uh, over time in an uptrend fashion. Uh, here's Athabasca oil. Uh, zooming out, uh, Athabasca oil looks really good. Uh, what you can see here is you've got a pattern that it's breaking. Um, something like like this it's coming on up uh broke down a little bit came into this little corner now it's breaking to the upside i'm gonna zoom i'm gonna zoom way out on you first we've got the downtrend line here we also have another line that i, I was looking at and it, it, it goes across here that we're trying to break out of so we're trying to break this big resistance line right now we broke the big one back here uh and and we could go sideways a little bit and create almost like a shoulder head shoulder pattern. And then we launch to the upside, maybe not. Zooming in on it, we've got this uptrend line that we've, that we've got an uptrend line and a downtrend line. We just broke the downtrend line right here. Here's your downtrend line. We squared it up, coming through here and then we broke to the upside. So hopefully that momentum can continue tomorrow. Uh, here's, that was Athabasca Oil. Here's crew energy, crew energy. Uh, I like these big patterns that we're breaking, guys, like these big ones like this. I like that. I like that we're breaking it. 
And sometimes we have a return move, but it's coming kind of sideways in this little pattern uh, right here, chopping sideways in it. Uh, we're right at support. I, you know, I, the downside move is here. Maybe if you like crew energy, sprinkle some in here. And then if we break to the downside, sprinkle in some more. If it breaks to the upside, you kind of caught it where you got some support. Um, that's one strategy that you could do. But we're right here at the bottom here at support. Uh, recalf. Now, recalf is one that I like a lot at this point. Uh, whenever these things go into a descending wedge, we broke to the upside and we have another descending wedge. Uh, this descending wedges, we've got all these descending wedges in here. Uh, when I look at this pattern, I think it looks really strong to me. So I've been adding, I, I'm, I'm probably not position size correctly for this, but guys, I've been adding kind of at the tips of these corners here. I probably have a little bit too much money in it. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I'm I'm just gonna hold on. <laughs> uh, so I did add a little bit here today at four dollars, and I think it's four sixty, four sixty right there. We broke out, and then hopefully we can get a good rally here and move to the upside. I want to see this thing break. Uh, but this guy's very volatile. Uh, we've got I've got my risk money at play here, and I'm playing this one for a potential big move to the upside. I think this pattern looks good. And what I like about it is we've got this big buying pressure through here and then the slow leak off of sellers like this. And the leak off of sellers are in descending wedges. So I think that we could gain some traction. We looks like we have a bullish engulfing pattern today right here. Uh, so everything looks really good for this to move on up for recap. That would be one I would be looking at right now. Uh, NOG, this one looks a little bit weak with this big selling off day there. This thing could roll over. Ah, it's okay. It's, it's, I, it doesn't look nearly as good as some of these other patterns. Recaf looks a thousand times better pattern wise than this one does at the moment. I do own it. Uh, I have been averaging in a teeny bit, but I like Recaf's chart much better. Um, MCF does not look good. I don't know why it sold off today. I'm sure there's some news or something. Um, but this is one that uh, some people ask me, when when, when would you uh, rotate money or whatever? I'd probably rotate a little bit money. We had a large up day in oil and this thing was down 6%. Um, not very confidence inspiring to me. And this pattern does not look very good. It looks like it wants to roll back over. Uh, so this would be one that I would be careful on at the moment. Uh, CPG, this guy, a uh, nice good Bullish piercing pattern here, rocketed higher, gapped higher this morning, and we've got the momentum to the upside. We're back above this resistance line up here. We've had a lot of battles through here, guys. It's been a while. Uh, big picture view, we're inverted head and shoulders that is playing out at the moment. And this thing breaks, we could be jumping to $9 or more uh, quite quickly. Uh, so that's what I'm looking for CPG. Good chart pattern. I like CPG right here. Uh, GTE looks like we broke out of this downtrend line, broke out of this downtrend line, and zooming way in, we're breaking out of this descending wedge pattern to the upside. That's kind of what normal patterns do. They create these descending wedges and they break to the upside. This is a small descending wedge, so we'll see where it goes. A uh, Tellurian downtrend line. Uh, what what happened here is, looks like it's almost a descending type wedge pattern or a, or so. Coming on in, it broke to the upside. So that's good. That one looks good. Uh, I added in Oasis Petroleum. Uh, this is one that I've owned. They went bankrupt and I bought it uh, at $30-ish. Yeah, like somewhere back here. I bought it like in here, I think, on this day. And I've been riding it higher, riding it higher. Um, looking on the short term here. Uh, look like well to me kind of like it it was almost coming into a wedge uh it's a downtrend pattern that broke to the upside today uh, so that one looks good hopefully we can keep the momentum to the upside uh crk this is comstock resources getting a little bit of buying buying pressure off the bottom here uh looking in i'm looking for like a descending wedge i don't see anything uh, we do have support underneath it a little bit underneath it here Kind of a wick at the bottom here. I, th I think we're getting close to a bottom. I think we're probably going to chop sideways a little bit uh, before moving up. 
Here's Sandridge Energy. Uh, this guy still is in a downtrend. I don't know if I'd be a huge buyer yet. It's got a little bit of a wick at the bottom here, so maybe it's going to try to base out a little bit and then try turning this downward momentum to sideways momentum. But we got to we got to turn this sideways before we we head on higher. Give it some time. Uh, here's Tetra Technologies. Somewhere in there. Looks like we're trying to break this downward trend line. We'll see if we can hold above it or if we're just going to break back down. Here's Transocean. Transocean coming through here. Looks like we broke back up and we've got the buyers are in control. Small little sell off date, you know, sell off uh, candlesticks at the one hour level. But we're back above support. HLX. Looking at this guy, looks like we're breaking to the upside a little bit here. Um, we're kind of hanging out. We're still in downtrends, though. Still in this big descending wedge pattern. It's a massive one. Now, this could pull all the way back, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they break right on up. And here is Surge Energy. This one was looking kind of interesting. Uh, we broke out here. We're coming back in the pattern. We've got this huge descending wedge pattern. Do I think it's ready yet? I, tough to say. Uh, but I'm just kind of watching it. Nice big bullish engulfing pattern on the daily candlestick today, uh, right at its, its support line. Uh, so this might be one to look at if you like Surge Energy. I'm not doing anything with it. I was just kind of looking at it, uh, charting it out, uh, and it it looks looks okay. Uh, but it's gotta it's gotta break out of this pattern first, or I think maybe move sideways a little bit longer. But the volume's stepping in and buying it, so it's got my it's got my attention at least. Uh, so that's what I've got for the rest of the oil and natural gas sector. Um, <clears throat> looks like oil's turning around. And now we just have to see if the momentum's there. Because we've seen, this; it's been very volatile. And we've got that big momentum day, the 13% down day that we had in oil that has to work its way out. Um, I don't know if we're just going to turn and move on up. Or if we're going to have a little bit more kind of choppiness ahead of us in sideways motion. Uh, either way, I've been sprinkling a little bit. so. If we go if we go lower, not, I'm not really hurt. If we go higher, I'm not really hurt there either. <laughs> kind of indifferent. I'm um, just kind of watching what we're doing. Uh, obviously, I can't predict the future, but if, if I were to go off of just kind of gut instinct and looking kind of at the uranium sector, the the oil sector, gold and silver, some of these other commodities, I think we're firming up, <clears throat> and I, I think we could potentially turn here at some point uh, very soon. That's kind of my gut instinct. And I'm seeing lumber take off to the upside. So when looking at all these things kind of around, you know, there, there are mixed signals out there. Copper was firming up today as well. Uh, so I think the entire commodity sector is firming up. And I, I do think that we're going to be putting in a bottom to turn up uh, to the upside uh, soon. It could be tomorrow. It could be in a week, but very soon. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.